Hi everyone, it's Gatti from Gatti Interactive channel. Today, in this video, I just want to present a product that I'm selling right now on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. And so this product, as you could see from uh, the introduction video, is a product we try to represent the blowing effect uh, that you can find on the desert sand. And so in this video, we're just uh, going to talk about what you can do and what you cannot do as well uh, in this ballpoint. And uh, we'll see uh, what parameter and so what we can control inside this ballpoint. So first, um, I'm just going to go in my content folder. Uh, so in here, and as you can see, I have my uh, blowing sand landscape effect folder, which is the one that you're going to get if you get the product on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. So I'm just going to open it. And so I already opened the map, which is found in the map folder. And so I'm just going to open the blueprint folder and I'm going to take this blueprint and drop it onto the landscape. So uh, I'm going to press G so we can see this arrow. So this arrow is controlling, is showing actually um, the wave direction. Uh, so the sand blowing effect direction. And so I'm just going to hide it. It's very, uh, it's useful if you uh, want to control uh, so where this blowing effect is uh, moving but I'm just going to press G because we don't really need to bother uh, for now. Um, so let's talk about the parameter. So first, as you can see, if I put my mark cursor uh, in the first parameter, so I'm in the blueprint sand blowing effect, and I just put my mark cursor on the first one. And as you can see, uh, we have a little description uh, that we have on all of this parameter. And so this description just explain what you can do with this parameter. So in this case, if you need to change the base color, the normal or the mass texture of the wave, open the, this material instance. So because I cannot change, uh, so provide a control uh, to change a texture onto the blueprints, um, we can do it by opening the material instance we use this blueprint. So what this can do. Um, if your um, so sand blowing effect do not vary much very well with your landscape in terms of texture or base color, you can go in here and just look for the two base color texture and just change it. So you can just apply your um, texture that you have on your landscape and just uh, change it to these two. And uh, if you want to change the wave motion that you have, uh, as you can see here, uh, you can just simply uh, go in here and just change it to normal. So we use two wave, so you can have different normal as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the texture. Um, okay, so now the second uh, parameter. So I'm going to press G so we can see the blueprint box. So as you can see, everything inside this box is affected by this blueprint. Um, so you can have a very large scale um, word and you can even uh, increase the size if you have a larger scale and keep in mind that this uh, blueprint is very cheap uh, so uh, that won't affect our performance and so if you want to change the box uh, size uh, you can you could do by uh, just adjusting the scale with the normal tool inside the Unreal Engine but I won't recommend it because it's very messy. Uh, for example, if I change this, as you can see, I'm not very scaling uh, the Z axis. So I will just recommend to use uh, this uh, first parameter that we have here. So as you can see, if I place my uh, mouse cursor on top of this, the X equals Z, the Y equal X, and the Z equal uh, Y. So basically, if here I will, I want to change the Z uh, axis scale, I'm just going to change the X. So as you can see, I'm just going to lower uh, the Z scale value. So I'm just going to reset it by default and we will uh, see the next two parameter. Um, so we have the same uh, wave speed and the same wave size. Um, so let me increase uh, the normal strength so we can see it better. Um, so as you can see, we're moving um, those wave in different direction and different speed as well. And so if I increase the speed, that's just going to increase the overall speed of this uh, motion. And if I increase the size, it's just going to increase the texture uh, which is used uh, to create this motion. So uh, it could be useful uh, if you're trying to achieve something different, but I'm just going to reset it by default. And so now we have the mask wave speed. 
Um, so what this does is I'm actually using uh, a noise texture to uh, create where I want the wa those waves to spawn and where I don't want to uh, spawn them. So basically here I can control the size of it. So let me uh, decrease the same brightness so we can see it better. Uh, yeah, it's a, it is a good way to just uh, adjust the setting. It's turning off the brightness so we can see everything in uh, black and it's more easily uh, edit editable. Uh, so right there, if I increase the size, it's just going to increase uh, this uh, noise size. So we have bigger uh, size of those wave packed and I'm just going to reset it by default. And if I want to increase the speed, I can just simply use this parameter. Uh, so as you can see, <clears throat> I'm clamping all of this value between 0 and 1, but you can go above. So if you just enter value, you can go above this uh, 0 to 1 clamp. So I'm just going to reset that by default and let's move on to uh, the four next parameter that we have here. So I'm going to reset the brightness and I will also increase normal strength to see it better. And as you can see here, I'm using so two normal waves to uh, create this motion. And I'm just going to um, so decrease uh, the direction of one. And as you can see, one of them is actually not moving right now. And so if I increase the speed on the other one, as you can see, uh, one of them is actually moving very fast now. Um, so I'm just going to reset everything by default, like so. And now let's talk about the next parameter. So the same color, so very basic. If you want to change the overall color of your uh, sand blowing effect, you can just do it by this. And if you want to change and have a color with fit more with your landscape, you can just take this tool uh, and just put it on your texture of your landscape and just try to find a good color on your texture and just click OK. And now we can go back in your blueprint and uh, uh, just adjust the brightness to get a better result, um, like so. And so normal strength, a uh, normal strength, uh, as you can see, and as we already see, it's just control uh, basically the normal strength of uh, those waves that we had to create this motion. And so uh, I can increase it a lot. I can even go higher than the clump to see it uh, a very high value, uh, but I won't recommend it. That's why I use clamp. And so I'm just gonna lower it to get some uh, more natural feeling, um, like so. And so now the three last parameter. So we have the same opacity. So very basic. It's just control uh, the overall opacity of this mask. And so I can go very high with that. With that, but I won't recommend it. So of course, it's better to have a very low value. And now the same contrast. I'm just gonna lower the same brightness so we can see it better. And I will uh, just move that to zero. And as you can see now on the uh, noise texture, we basically have no contrast. And if I increase that, we will uh, start getting a lot of contrast onto the noise texture. So that could be very helpful to create um, a shape that you want, but I will uh, just keep it like this for now. And so last parameter is the camera of five distance. Uh, so as you can see, if I increase this value like so, uh, we encounter a major problem is that uh, this texture is very repetitive. It is mostly because it's everything in black. Of course, if you send, uh, if you remove the the brightness to its default value, uh, it's m less noticeable, but it's still. So one thing that I did of in this province is I just add a camera fade distance. So uh, it's just gonna just decrease the size. So if I decrease this value, it's just going to decrease the, the the distance between the camera and where these blowing effects start to uh, basically disappearing. So fade out. Now, uh, lastly, uh, if I take any 3D asset uh, like this rock, for example, um, this cliff rock, I will don't want to have this decal uh, affecting the, um, the the static mesh. So one thing that you can do is just select the mesh asset and just look for decal in the detail panel and just uh, uncheck the receive decal uh, parameter. So as you can see now, we don't affect any more uh, the static mesh. All right, thanks everyone for watching this video. 
And if you have any suggestion or any question about this product, uh, you can just simply uh, write a comment in the comment section on my YouTube channel or in the Unreal Market uh, product. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.